Hi, this is Carl with another SOP video for managed service providers. Today and for the next two videos, I want to talk a little bit about your financial processes and thinking about your finances in a bigger picture. Here's what we mean. So today in particular, I want to talk about how your financial goals are part of a much bigger picture. In other words, they're part of a picture larger than your finances. Here's what I mean. I love to remind people that if you're in small business, your business exists to fulfill your personal goals as an owner, as an entrepreneur. If you worked for a Fortune 500 company, one of those big nameless faceless corporations, well, then your job is to make money for the stockholders. But as a small business owner, that's not your goal. Yes, you need to make money. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but your actual goal is to figure out how your business will fulfill your personal goals. And so when you think about finances, you need to think in terms of stakeholders, not stockholders. Now, what do I mean by stakeholders? Stakeholders includes your employees, your customers, your suppliers, anyone who has a vested interest in your business and your success. And so, I remind people from time to time, you know, you have to occasionally give away some labor so that a client stays in love with you. So they remember that they're important to you. If I go to each employee and say, you know, you can give away an hour without any questions, as long as you've got a really good reason and you think it's going to support the client and support the relationship. That gives the employees a certain amount of power and it allows each of your employees to build up your relationships with your clients. That's one example where paying attention to your stakeholders, in this case, both your employees and your clients, is in the long-term best interest of your company. Very often, nurturing stakeholders costs money. It might literally be that it costs you the price of holding a barbecue in your parking lot and inviting your clients to the barbecue or handing out anniversary presents or something like that. I always loved having little parties for my clients on their 5, 10 and 15 year anniversaries. We'd have a, a cake made that would have our logo and their logo and unfortunately it got to the point where bakeries were afraid to put our logos on there because they didn't want to get involved with copyrights which is another stupid <laughs> problem but the point is we would put together some kind of a cake that would represent our company and their company and how we had been together for five or ten or fifteen years and then we would bring the cake to their office with some lemonade and hand it out and throw a little mini party, letting them know that we appreciated them. And you know, there's not that many clients that have five year anniversaries each year. So it's, it costs you a little something, but it's the kind of thing that demonstrates that your business is more than the finances on your bottom line. So set aside a little bit of your budget and you can put it in the marketing budget. There's nothing wrong with that. Bottom line, so to speak, you should set aside a piece of your budget to nurture long term stakeholders in your company, both internally and externally. It's one way that you need to look at your finances from a perspective other than money. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Palchuk wishing you the best of luck in everything you do.